G'day folks, if you've watched many of my videos you would know I'm a bit of a fan of a parting tool. Recently I got the idea that maybe you could use a parting tool to remove the bulk of material. So in this video I'll be using an eBay uh, parting tool to remove some material that would normally be done with a turning tool. Here my lathe is geared down and for some reason it takes forever to get up to speed. I've got no idea why. When it's in high range it normally does it quite quickly. You'll notice that I'm not using a parting tool here. I'm just facing this off and doing a bit of turning on this diameter and you'll see why I'm not using a parting tool. A double ended insert tends to rub a bit. I could have used my Kenner metal insert because um, that's only a single edge but I thought I'd use the eBay one because anybody can grab one of those. I'm cleaning up this end so that the job will run concentrically when I do a second operation. And there's a simulation of the facing and turning. Just facing this off with a Sumitomo FC chip breaker 80 degree insert. Now this is a two millimeter wide insert, but I'm only taking cuts of one and a half millimeters. And to me, that looks like a reasonable rate of metal removal. And my spindle motor is rated at 5 amps, which you can see is what the cut's drawing. There's a bit of this I've sped up so we don't all die of boredom. There it is. Nearly there. And that's a finishing cut. I was not very impressed with this finish so I added a clean up pass to the program. I didn't want to leave it to the threading tool to clean that up. Well, I'll just have a quick look at the simulation. That was the turning tool facing off. Here's the parting tool and the clean up pass. This thread is a 16 TPI UN thread using a full profile insert and doing 600 rpm using 10 cuts and one spring pass because i was getting problems with vibration or chatter rather didn't go away anyway right we'll just quickly look at the thread being cut simulation doesn't take long doing this first chamfer in this direction throws up much less of a burr on the pointy bits of the thread that's just an FC type insert, 35 degrees. They're good because they allow you to do a 45 degree back chamfer. And there's the simulation. This is 6061 and I can't remember for the life of me why we're starting halfway through but doesn't much matter because you can see it's just a mess anyway. And we do the threading. I sped up a bit. Now we finish it off. Here's a close up look at the chatter I was getting at a thousand RPM. Was suggested I slow it down a bit. Mm, not really sure it made much of a difference. I have to admit, I was pretty happy with the profile. That looks pretty good to me. Now this really surprised me. This is the thread on the 6061. Cut exactly the same way as the other, but I cannot see any chatter marks on it whatsoever. Unbelievable. If you have any ideas about any parts of the process in this video, I'd be pleased to hear them. Thank you for watching.